Hey guys, this is Milo, the Pug Engineer. I'm here today to guide you on how to install Xcode, discuss a bit about membership options for Apple's own development program, and finally test if everything works by deploying a simple application in the simulator and in a real iPhone. If you are interested to build native mobile applications, you will need Xcode, Apple's very own IDE. Xcode will provide you with everything you need to write applications for iOS and macOS using a variety of languages such as Swift, Objective-C, even C++. It's also very easy to test the application in the simulator or deploy it in a real iPhone or iPad, and all of that for free. To get started, let's head to the App Store and sign in using your Apple ID. I guess you will have one by now, but if not, head over to appleid.apple.com and create one. Go to the search bar and type Xcode and just download it. This will take a while, so I will speed up the video. Apple normally requires developers to enroll into the developer program. You can certainly get a lot of benefits by enrolling, such as distributing your apps in the App Store and getting access to the latest beta releases, but also some advanced features such as in-app purchases or HomeKit. In order to be developed, they will require you to enroll to the paid program, which costs $99 per year. I'd say, if you are starting out with iOS development, don't do that yet. Without enrolling, you can still deploy your app to a device for seven days, and you can repeat the process every time the certificate expires. Deploying your app to a device is very important. Don't get me wrong, the simulator that comes with Xcode is great, but developing to an iPhone, it will give you the real picture. There are performance differences between the simulator and different iPhone or iPad models, and some of the more advanced features can only be tested on a real device. Great, Xcode is downloaded and installing, and once the installation finishes, click the Xcode icon to launch it. And I would like to drag it over here, accept the agreement, and it will start to install uh, the components it needs to run. That will take a minute again. Great, here we are. So create new project and select single view application, next. And let's try test app for project name. And for identifier, we usually use a reverse DNS, such as com, the pug engineer, and the name of the application, as you see here. We do not need unit test or UI test for this uh, application. So next, and choose a place to save the project. I will unclick Git, and then I will choose my desktop. All right, and we are into Xcode. So let's go to the storyboards. And if you do not know what that is, don't worry yet about it. We will just build a very simple UI just to see if our app is working. So click here and type label and then choose a label and drag it around the center of the screen. Then control click and drag diagonally as I am doing now, not straight up or left. Let it go and select center horizontally and do it again and select center vertically and then click update frames. Okay, let's go again to the label. Change it to something like test app is working. Great, that's an amazing application. It's just displaying a text. All right, uh, now let's try running it in the simulator. So up here, you can select where do you want to run it. And you can see a list of devices, which are basically iOS simulators. So I will leave the selection to iPhone XR and I will click the play button. And Xcode will, will start building the application and then it will automatically run the simulator. And here it is, whoa. Great, so let's 
try now deploy it in a real device. And to do that, let's stop first the simulator, then click over here to the test app, and we will need to add an account. And to do that, just click this button over here, add account, and you will need to sign in again with your Apple ID. Great, and the account will be added. So close this now and make sure you select your personal team over here. You will see a message that there is no device uh, registered in the account yet. So let's do that now. Let's connect the iPhone to the Mac using a standard lightning cable. And once it's connected, head over to Windows devices and simulators and you will see that message that the iPhone is not paired to the computer so go over to the iPhone unlock it and click trust this computer and Xcode will start um, installing debugger support to the iPhone and that will take a minute again and when it finishes go ahead and close the dialog box and choose over here the Pug Engineer's iPhone and click the run button again and we'll start deploying the app to the device this time but we are not there yet you will see that we need to verify the developer app certificate and Xcode will tell us what to do so head over to settings then general then device management, then select the developer app and click trust and trust again. Okay, let's try that again. And the app is working. Great, we now have Xcode up and running and we can deploy apps to our iPhone for testing. I hope that video helped set up your development environment for building iOS and macOS native applications. If you want to see more videos from the Pug Engineer, let me know. What do you want to see in the comments below? See you guys!